Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Palmery bundle from Noise Ash Audio. There is a ton of different effects plugins for this one, so we're going to dive right in. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so I'm going to try to move rather quickly because, like I mentioned, we have a ton of different plugins here. I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them loaded here. There are two additional vocal finalizer and speaker sim uh, that I don't have here. But this is the pad that I'm using for this demonstration. Okay, so like I mentioned before, we get a ton of different plugins. If you want to see what each of those are, of course, hit the link and check them out on the page. But we're going to start and just go right down the gate. First one we have is Action Delay. Uh, we've done a deal on this before, and I can honestly tell you this is one of my favorite delay plugins that I keep in my template permanently because of the presets. So again, pad dry, and then I'm going to turn on the delay. So we get dual uh, delay timings for the right and left channel and some of the kind of basic um, functionality there. But what I love is the presets because they just work so well. So we have inserts and sends. Obviously I have this as an insert, so let's check out some of these here. I'm going to load in a lead sound so we can hear that on kind of a more a, a sound with a sharper attack. There you can hear that specific preset Detune Diva a lot more specifically. A little bit of detuning there as the delay uh, goes on. All right, so going on to the action filter, again, back to the pad. You can change these, um, you know, this one says bar, this one says custom shape. You can draw in the shape there. You can have like a sine wave. There's that drive button right there. So what I like to use this for is kind of like adding motion to a static sound like this, like the pad. And it's nice with the drive as well that you can add a little bit of distortion there uh, without having to use a separate plugin for that. Moving down to Action Phaser.
Again, you can see the custom shape there for that phaser effect there as it actually goes through that little shape. You can hear it peaks there and then goes back down. Which of course you can change this as to whatever you want. And again, we have some really cool presets there. So again, you can add kind of rhythm and motion to a very static sound. Even like this one, Momentum Alien, you know, it gives it that kind of uh, rhythmic feeling. So you can use a pad as kind of a pulsating rhythmic element in, as opposed to just a long droning note. You can also kind of combine these, turn an the action delay and action phaser on now. And now the filter. So you can get some really fun, weird results by combining these different elements as well. Uh, Action trim. Again, combining it with the filter there, just kind of make it a little bit uh, more complex and weird. Now we're going on to Devastator. So of course you see these are all at labeled action and they kind of are, are basic delay, filter and phaser and tremolo effects, but just turned up to another level with the sequencers, with the different things going on, the right and left delays, different things like that. And if you want to know a good place to start and what they can really do, just load up a preset. And also, again, the different action ones, they're all kind of rhythmic and they can be combined and mixed and matched with the same sound uh, really nicely. So on to Devastator, which is a bit crusher. This one will probably get a little bit loud. So something I love to do with bit crushers is automate these different parameters and kind of have this play this sound and then automate this in real time within your DAW. So draw in like a modulation clip and it will do something cool like this. Where you start with kind of the sound non-degraded and then slowly degraded over a period of like, you know, four or eight bars. And of course, the same can be done with the bit depth control as well. Uh, On to Frozen Verb. A huge sounding reverb here. Again, there's the pad. What makes this a little bit unique is the freeze effect there, which will just ring out the sound literally indefinitely. So I'm not holding the keys down anymore, it's just going because I've hit the freeze. So 
I just held the, you know, that D there and then hit the freeze and then was playing some stuff on top of it. Well, actually the G, the G note is what I hit for all. I know there's someone going to correct me there. Hold the G, hit the freeze, and then you can play on top of it and without actually holding down that key. Now on to heater, which is a saturation effect. Probably going to get loud, a bit loud again. <laughs> And then finally for this demonstration, the stereo finalizer, which will enhance the stereo width of this sound. So here's the regular sound. And stereo finalizer on. And then again, we can just turn them all on and get something really weird and crazy. <laughs> 